welcome to our Firebird Database Administrator training covering the topics presented at IB Experts Firebird School held by Holger Klemt and Jason Chapman as part of the International Firebird Conference 2007. We'll continue in this tutorial session by taking a brief look at Firebird's memory configuration. Memory settings depend on the one hand on the database page size and on the other the default cache pages specified in the Firebird configuration file. By default, the super server allocates 2048 pages for each database and the classic server allocates 75 pages per client connection per database. This value can be altered in the firebird.conf by defining the default DB cache pages parameter, the maximum value being 128,000. However, if the memory specified in the firebird.conf number of pages multiplied by the page size is larger than the actual available memory, it will not be possible to open the database. The default setting in the conf file is for all databases, but you can override this for each individual database by specifying the cache buffers. We therefore recommend leaving the default size in the Firebird conf as it is at 2048, and instead defining in the IB Expert Services menu item database properties that the database should use 20,000 pages for the cache. The kilobyte size is calculated automatically and this is the quantity of bytes which remains in the working memory which of course speeds up database performance. The cache can be set using the IB Expert menu item database properties found in the services menu or using the command line utility gfix. The only limit to the amount of cache is the physical size of the RAM. The total kilobyte is calculated according to the current database page size. For an alteration to become effective, it is necessary for all users to disconnect from the database and then reconnect. In gfix, the command to set the number of cache pages is gfix minus b buffers database name. You cannot change the database page size in this manner, only the number of pages reserved in the RAM. One parameter is required which must be numeric and between 50, the minimum, and 131,072, the maximum. The setting applies only to the database you specify. No other databases running on the same server are affected. Don't forget, when specifying buffers for an individual database, always use the IB Expert Database Properties menu item or gfix. If you specify buffers in the Firebird conf, it applies to all databases using that Firebird server. From a certain point, increasing the cache will not provide a visible improvement in performance. However, if you regularly need to process large amounts of data for reports or similar in a large database, then it is advisable to optimise these parameters. Please note, with SuperServer, cache memory per database equals page size times buffers. And with a classic server, cache memory per connection equals page size times buffers. Therefore, it is important to define the cache memory for the classic server at a lower level than for the super server. With super server, the cache remains open as long as someone is logged onto the database. When the last connection logs out, the complete cache is deleted. When the next connection is made, the cache starts to fill up again. It's possible to do a fine-tuning workaround here. For example, use a procedure to make a server connection at 6am or before the main working day starts, run a query that loads all tables into the cache, for example, a count from all tables, commit this transaction and leave the connection open. This way, all tables have been loaded into the cache before the users start work. And if the cache is large enough, and the connection is not disconnected, the pages remain in the cache. Please also refer to Holger Klemp's article Optimize Database Cache Utilization to Improve Database Performance, which can be found by searching our online documentation at www.ibexpert.com. This offers you further tips regarding cache utilization. The IB Expert Performance Analysis, which can be found in the SQL editor, also displays the number of data pages that are being held as cache on the server. As we've already mentioned from Interbase 6 onwards, the standard is 2048. You can check here what individual queries are doing and how much capacity they require. 
For example, Reads displays how many pages had to be loaded from the hard drive. Here you can see that in the second execution no pages had to be loaded as there was enough room in the cache to hold everything from the first time. Writes. When the cache is full, Firebird writes Firebird pages in the temp files. Here the ideal value is zero and the value shouldn't, as far as possible, become too high. Another thing that is important if you are using multi-core processors or multiprocessors and super server on Windows is to set the CPU affinity mask in the Fiber configuration file. This parameter is described in detail in our DB admin tutorial number 5, Fiber configuration file parameters. So, that was our introduction to Firebird's memory configuration. A transcript of this tutorial can be downloaded by all IB Expert registered full version holders from the customer download area at www.ibexpert.com. All topics presented here are also documented in detail on our website. We hope this tutorial has been of help to you and look forward to publishing our next topic in our series for DB admins. Goodbye for now and thank you from all of us at IB Expert. Mm -hmm.